Anyway, you know who can't unlearn the truth? Pat Robertson, because he's fucking dead. Okay? He's super dead at the age of 93. He founded the Christian Broadcasting Network, the political advocacy group, the Christian Coalition, and the Christian College Regent University. But he was also known for his outspoken views on homosexuality, feminism, and a host of other hot button issues. There isn't one single civilization that has survived that had openly embraced homosexuality. In 2001, he agreed with fellow televangelist Jerry Falwell that God allowed the 9-11 terrorists to succeed. Yeah, that's right, folks. Pat Robertson was the OG 9-11 Andy. Dinesh D'Souza also was another 9-11 Andy, and so was Bill Maher. So, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm just following in the footsteps of some of the OGs, you know? Because America had moved to the left and removed religion from the mainstream. I, I totally concur. The Yale Law School graduate and Korean War vet had a religious awakening in the late 1950s. He bought a bankrupt local station in Portsmouth, Virginia, and it became the first outlet for the Christian Broadcast Network. It was the first Christian TV network in the U.S. and became one of the world's largest TV ministries. Its flagship program was The Daily Show he hosted, The 700 Club, named for the 700 donors who launched it in 1961. I plan to make a formal announcement of my candidacy for the Republican nomination for the presidency of the United States. Robertson, whose father was a congressman and U.S. senator, ran as a Republican presidential candidate in 1988. He came in second in the Iowa caucus, but his campaign didn't fare as well in other primary states. He dropped out of the race Damn. and returned to host the 700 Club, where he famously made bold predictions that didn't always come true. Romney will win the election. You believe that? I absolutely. So you know what's funny about this? When the news media memorializes you after your death, and they like literally talk about your 9/11 takes and your you know homophobia. That's how you fucking know this guy was a real demon, okay? Because normally, like they look at like George W. Bush and they're like, they completely avoid the war crimes and they're like, he's a giver and a lover. George H. W. Bush, sorry, uh, he's a giver and a lover. He certainly did not uh, play a significant role in the assassination of JFK when he was in the when he was a part of the CIA. You know, they they always do that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> Where you know a motherfucker is a straight demon when even <laughs> when he, mainstream media is not even memorializing him with like you know good things that he did and is still straight up openly referencing all of the awful shit that he said. What makes you believe that? Because the Lord told me. <laughs> Pat Robertson, a key founder of the conservative Christian movement. Oh, one of my locks. One of my absolute fucking locks is that in the next decade. Oh, shit. Ow. Next decade. In the next decade, uh, the CIA is going to openly declassify that they assassinated JFK. I think, or even if they don't do it, I, I believe, okay, maybe I'm crazy, but I believe that it will be genuinely mainstream, like everybody knows it, everybody kind of understands it, everybody kind of fucking regularly assumes that that is the case, okay? I feel as though, I feel as though, why would they do that? Because they do it all the fucking time, why wouldn't they? I... No, not in a hundred years, okay? Um, why? Here's why, okay? Because right now, because right now, I see so much more. Maybe it's like fucking recency bias, or maybe I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because like it's selection bias, sampling bias. I don't know. But I see so much more discussion in like, works of art that is very much mainstream that basically looks like uh, the the Oliver Stone's uh, JFK like very openly discussing uh the CIA's involvement even in the plumbers they like straight up said it okay they straight up fucking said it in uh in plumbers like you, it, it used to be kind of like a crank theory i think 
You know what I mean? It used to be more of like a like a crank theory, and now I feel like it's being the CIA would be disbanded immediately. No, the fuck it wouldn't. I mean, I, I don't I don't think the CIA will declassify it, but I think it's just gonna become more mainstream. <laughs> also, yeah, Secretary of Antifa's right. The CIA admitted to doing mind control experiments, dude. <laughs> like they openly that's normal. Like you live in a world you live in a world where people like you live in a world with that knowledge exists on the uh, on the periphery like everybody knows that the cia very deliberately tried to engage in failed mind control experimentation okay like that's not a speculation that's not a fucking theory it's not a conspiracy theory it's just like straight up what they said they did same with fucking same with afghanistan same with afghanistan like a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff they openly fucking tell you, you know, when enough time has passed. Just saying. I don't know why I got the fucking JFK assassination here, but. Who never shied away from expressing his views, no matter how controversial they might be. Oh, yeah. that That's a funny fucking. Celebrate Pat Robertson's. That, that's funny. That's a funny way to end that. Just controversial guy. Retirement after 60 years in broadcasting with, now that's what I call yikes. You'll get classics like homophobia. You've got a couple of, of same-sex guys kissing. Well, that makes me want to throw up. And their weird way of doing sex. Racism. Like in the 30s, the blacks were self-sustaining. They were in business. And what happened? What is this mac and cheese? Is that a black thing? Misogyny. I don't think we condone wife beating these days, but something's got to be done. Islamophobia. In Yo, I told G. <laughs> My man said, I don't condone wife beating, but something's got to be done. <laughs> That's an insane fucking thing to say. This guy, man, holy fuck. He was, what a legend. The Quran, it's appropriate and permissible to have sex with little babies. Transphobia. Transgenders. This is nonsense. It's just a fraud. We don't want men going into women's bathrooms. Order now and you'll also receive... Wait, didn't Pat Robertson also have like a weird take about trans people that was like... Like, drop this transphobia stuff? Didn't he literally fucking also in later in his... In later years, he was like, yeah, I don't fucking, this trans stuff, like, don't fight about it. It's fine. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. I think he, like, made a miscalculation. No. <laughs> it was either, it was either, <laughs> it was either a miscalculation because he thought that, like, people don't give a shit about it or it was dementia. Here, 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 here. Who says I work with two people who have decided that they are females? I know what the Bible says about homosexuality, but is it wrong to refer to them as females since they've had their gender status changed in the eyes of the law? Okay. By the way, his pro-trans take in this situation is literally when paired up with his homophobia take, he literally <laughs> he's literally just an Iranian Ayatollah. Okay, that's what he is. <laughs> Which is weird. His his take is straight up identical to Iran. Uh, Why would you have to refer to them as females? Uh, I don't name understand or? all that, but uh, I think there are uh, men who are in a woman's body. Mm -hmm. It's very rare, but it's true. Or women that are in men's bodies, and uh, they they that they want a, a sex change, and that is a very permanent thing, believe me, when you have certain body parts. Uh Fucking told you, dude. I told you. This, this man is a legend, dude. He's a fucking... He's the first of his kind. He's anti-L, anti-G, anti-B, and he's pro-T, okay? He flipped the script and said... And this is actually not that uncommon. Like, this is actually low-key very common. I would say there are more people like this on the planet than vice versa. There's a lot of people like that in, like, you know, Iran. There's a lot of people like that, I think, in, like, India and shit, too, obviously, where there's, like, other third-gender classifications. So, like, 
technically there <laughs> might be more. Technically, there might be more people who are like pro pro trans and and anti gay. But in the Western world, very unique. Okay, very very unique. And for that, I appreciate Pat Robertson. He said gay people are intentionally spreading AIDS in San Francisco with rings that cut people during a handshake while simultaneously being fucking pro-trans. It's so funny, dude. Amputated, uh, and you have shot up with various kinds of parts. Uh, amputated. Uh, and you have shot up with various kinds of hormones. Uh, it, it's a it's a radical procedure. Uh, I I don't think there's any sin associated with that. I I don't condemn somebody for doing that. But somebody who just says, "Well, I'm really a woman," I, I question the validity of that statement. But they say they're they're counted as female. You, you don't count somebody as female unless they really are, or male unless they really are. In this instance, so this is the person who works with two people, so he doesn't really know their intentions no. or know their personal uh, medical scenario. It's not for you to decide or to judge. All right. Okay, this is he said, fuck the LG and the B, but not the T, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know gays against groomers. How about trans against groomers? <laughs> a reverse turf. Oh man, God, yeah, you gotta love American politics, dude. How can't? How can you not? How can you fucking not, dude? I mean, it's just like, it's just like so. Like this person was like an important figure in American politics for so many years, and that's like. The type of opinion he has. You know what I mean? I love this. He's still a trans medicalist. <laughs> Dude, canceling Pat Robertson for being trans medicalist. <laughs> oh, dude, he's like, he's like to the left of the average American citizen on trans issues. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's his most problematic take, honestly. Um, sir, Mr. Pat Robertson, you're doing NB erasure right now, okay? <laughs> telling Pat Robertson, <laughs> telling Pat Robertson, you don't have to... Dude, she is fucking clocking through this puzzle now. This puzzle ain't shit for her now. Telling Pat Robertson, you it, you don't need to pass to be uh, a a trans woman. It's you kind of fucked up. Then <laughs> someone doesn't need to literally. <laughs> someone doesn't need to immediately medically transition to be considered trans, sir. You're trust scum. Um. So Pat Robertson died this morning, and I just wanted to take the time to say that this piece of inhuman shit was evil. I hope hell is real because that's where he fucking belongs. I spit on his grave. Here's the thread. He was super villain among Christian conservatives. If you think the ones you know about are unhinged, this motherfucker was on another level. He vilified Hinduism, which I think is fucking like, that's awesome. Okay. Not obviously vilifying Hinduism, but like out of all the things that conservative people get mad at, like conservative Christians get mad at. Finding the time to shit on Hinduism is such a funny and weird line. It's just like, why did you, what, what are you doing? What, like, where did this come from? When did you encounter an Indian person that you like decided actually this is fucked up? He said, radical Muslims are satanic. Uh, that's television evangelist Pat Robertson um, on the 700 Club. Uh, 700 Club. He said, Islam is not a religion of peace and that radical Muslims are satanic. He talked with Jerry Falwell uh, shortly after 9-11 and blamed the terrorist attacks on the pagans, the abortionists, and the feminists, and the gays, and the lesbians. Notice how he didn't say the trans people. Notice how trans people were noticeably absent from why America deserved 9-11. Just pointing that out there. Interesting.
He implied that Hurricane Katrina, which killed over 1,800 people, was God's punishment for abortion. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one's a certified banger. The wholesale slaughter of unborn children. We have, we have killed over 40 million unborn babies in America. I was reading yesterday a book that was very interesting about what God has to say uh, in the Old Testament about those who shed innocent blood. And he used the term that those... Okay, now that I think about it, the, the idea that, like, when paired up with the notion that, like, America deserves 9-11, uh, he literally is an... He is the Ayatollah. Like, he's pro-trans, anti-lesbian, anti-gay, anti-women, anti-all that shit, anti-America, claims America deserved 9-11 because of the gays and all that stuff. And he quite literally... I mean, this is it. This is... He is... He is Ayatollah Robertson. It's kind of fucking crazy. Identical, identical political perspective down to the like the the trans thing. If if you could find him unironically advocating tread lightly. Why? What's he going to do? Haunt me? Suck my cock. If you could find him like advocating for uh like forcible uh, uh forcible uh, gender transition surgery for for homosexuals like that's literally that's it that's like he is in he is the Iranian cleric okay just saying those who do this the land will vomit you out that, that you you look at your book you look at the book of Leviticus and see what it says there and this author of this said, well, vomit out means you're not able to defend yourself. But uh, have we found that we are unable somehow <coughs> to defend ourselves against some of the attacks that are coming against us, either by terrorists or now by natural disaster? Could they be connected in some way? Then he goes down the list of the things that God says will cause a nation uh, to lose its possession and to be vomited out. And, and the amazing thing is a judge has now got to say, I'm you are talking like turfs, lol? What do you mean? I will support the wholesale slaughter of innocent children uh, in order to get confirmed to the bench. And I'm sure Judge Roberts is not going to say any such thing, but nevertheless, that's the litmus test that's being put on. The very thing that could endanger our nation. And uh, it's, it's very interesting. Read the Bible. Read Leviticus. See what it says. This one's wild, and the first time I heard about him, in 2010, after the Haiti earthquake that killed over 100,000 people, some have put it as high as 300K, he said that Haiti's founders brought the earthquake on themselves because they declared independence from France. What the fuck? Pat Robertson, Iran, share in the outrages. Wait, Christian telev television evangelist Pat Robertson and the president of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, have a well-established affinity for the outrageous. This time, their mutual embrace of indecency places them in the category all to themselves. As Israeli leader Ariel Sharon lies hospitalized and critically incapacitated by a massive stroke, Robertson, one of America's best-known religious extremists and his Iranian counterpart, no slouch when it comes to religious demagoguery, suggested that the Israel, Israeli prime minister had it coming. Oh. Okay, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. No, this is like, I'm, I'm calling it. No, this is Ayatollah Robertson, dude. What the fuck? Mashallah, Ayatollah Robertson. He, he went to Jannah, I, I think. He actually, he didn't even say the Shahada when, uh, uh, right as he was, he didn't recite the Shahada right as he was like, saying his last breath he literally said it like somewhere in between his career like he said it at some point what the fuck speaking on his show the 700 club the christian broadcasting network robertson said the bible makes it very clear that god has an enmity against those who divide my land robertson asserted uh sharon was dividing god's land and i would say woe unto any prime minister of israel who takes a similar course. As Robertson was offering up his thoughts about a man fighting for his life, Iran's president was expressing unrestrained hope that Sharon would die. Wait, I don't get it. Was he like pro-Palestine? What is happening? I am so confused.
After the Wisconsin sick shooting that killed seven people, he blamed it on atheists and people who hate God. The shooter was a white supremacist with ties to neo-Nazis. He said that the 2017 Las Vegas shooting was caused by NFL players taking a knee before games and disrespecting President Donald Trump. Claimed that the critical race theory gave people of color the whip handle over white people. Like he... <laughs> Dude, Pat Robertson died when he saw the fucking meme of uh, MLK overlooking the cotton fields as, like, black people are whipping white people. You know that meme I'm talking about? He saw that and perished. That was the last thing he saw. It was burned into his fucking retinas. Like, this is CRT! And then died. America, America KKKS poet laureate? Yeah, he is so fucking... He is so good. Um... When a man, when a man called into a shitty show asking what he should do about his wife who was not respecting him, Pat Robertson told him his wife was a rebellious child who wouldn't submit to any authority. Has become a real problem. She has no respect for me as the head of the house. She insults me. She even went as far as stretching her hand to beat me. I've lost my self confidence. Her words hurt so much, and she refuses to talk through our problems. Please tell me what I can do. Well, you could become a Muslim, then you could beat her. <laughs> But in Dude, that's so sick. Because, like, he literally believes that. He literally believes that you should be able to beat your wife. He said it. Okay? He fucking said it before. So, in his mind, in that very moment, he's both simultaneously saying, it's bad when they do it in Islam, while also, which is a misunderstanding in general, but, like, uh, but also on top of that, he's he like literally believes you should be able to beat your wife. In lieu of that. <laughs> you don't want to go to Saudi no, Arabia? No. <laughs> uh, you know, I think she, this man's got to stand up to her. Uh, and, and he can't let her get away with this stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't think we condone wife beating these days, but something's got to be done. What do you do with that? You can't divorce her according to the scripture. And so I say, <laughs> move to Saudi Arabia. My wife is. Yeah, something's got to be done. This isn't even close to everything this Christian has said and done in his life. Every moment of his adult life was spent spewing hatred to millions of Americans and contributing to the bigotry we see today. I'm getting mad just typing it. He and more importantly, his words of strength and the hateful rhetoric in this country. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, I mean, he is literally the worst. He's literally the fucking worst. He's one of the worst. He's the, he's the fucking Mac Daddy. Dude. Blaming Haitians for their devastating earthquake. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. And the unforgettable, let drug addicts die. Well, I'm starting to. Order now. So, he's so insane. On January 14, 1901, on the 700 Club, Pat Robertson attacked a number of Protestant denominations when he declared, you say you're supposed to be nice to the Episcopalians and the Presbyterians and the Methodists and this, that, and the other thing. Nonsense. I don't have to be nice to the spirit of the Antichrist. Some questions. We've been running out of time on the show, but uh, what do well, you let's got? Let's bring it on with Peyton, oh, first of all, today. Pat, Peyton says, recently I was looking through my daughter's phone and I found many pictures of cartoon skeleton with one glowing blue eye and wearing a hoodie when i asked my daughter why she had such demonic oh my god pat robertson encounters undertale like images on her phone she told me there was nothing wrong with it because it was from a video game how do i help my daughter not be attracted to such demonic things <laughs> well give her something better uh, i think it's a fad I, you know the, these funny looking things i i, I think I wouldn't make a big deal of it. I think if you do, you magnify the... You drive her to it. Yeah, you drive her to it. And uh, if you got something more wholesome that she can enjoy, provide it for her. You must have something. There's got to be some video game that isn't so evil, but those, those things are filled with violence, I mean, you know, and, and brutality. It's so funny that this guy is worried about depictions of violence and brutality in a game like Undertale, which is hilarious because, like, the entire point is to not do that, okay? But also, like, you are who you are, man. 
What do you mean? Like, you're Pat Robertson. Everything you have said is violent as fuck. It's unreal, and that's what the kids are playing. They say, oh, well, he's just playing a video game. Yeah, sure. Boom, boom, boom. Well, sometimes it's all about being... So why is he being remembered in a positive medium like uh, uh, in uh, cable news? No, he's not. I mean, that's how unhinged he is. Also, we're not done yet. I mean, speaking of violence... In 1985, the 700 Club's Pat Robertson went to Honduras to give an anti-communist, anti-Sandinista pep talk to a group of Contra Death Squad troops on behalf of the CIA. In the name of Christian righteousness, they supported apartheid in South Africa and the Contras in Central America. You know, just, just some apartheid South Africa support as well. This is one of the most moving experiences in my life to be here today. Esto ha sido una de las experiencias más conmovidas en mi vida. To see your faith, para ver su fe, your desire for freedom and liberty, el deseo que tienen para la libertad, your courage, su coraje, and your discipline, y su disciplina. We want to help those who are the victims of communism. Queremos ayudar a las víctimas del comunismo. You know, by fucking killing them and destroying them. Um, great stuff. Anyway, they did like really fucked up shit. CIA is not good, folks. Uh, sorry to report. How the fuck did we get here? Because we were talking about Pat Robertson, who is... Uh, a demon himself but yeah and now he's dead so there you go